name is Ajoke Tui Muina Ilawani, aka ATM Fashionista. I am from Lagos State, Nigeria, born into a family of business moguls and serial entrepreneurs. I followed the footsteps of my late mom as she followed the footsteps of our mom. I started my businesses at the age of 16 at the University of Lagos. But with hard work, passion, and dedication, I now run 30 businesses under one roof at Tiana's Empire. I am also a single mom of two swagalicious talented kids. People ask me how I'm able to juggle all my businesses and kids and still come out looking fabulous. I'm tired of telling them, let me show you. I think I tell you about this wrapping of the chair. You ask for bubble wrap, mofu that you need. Oh, we call it bubble wrap for Oh no, get it. You told me. I've told you over a week. When did this man be last? They have paid for those chairs since a week now. Do you know that the customer was standing here? <laughs> the guy did not know. I now called him. That ah, the customer that pays one million for chair is here. The guy said, ah, can you draw? Hey, what I want to call you? Eh? I went mad. Like, are you kidding me? The customer paid you one million. Are you telling me that? Eh, I'm packing the chair. He gave them the chair. You know those my big animals. He gave them the chair and put it in the boots that they should be carrying like that. So there's some terrible managers who think that will ruin our careers. Like. Never, not Tiana Space Empire. It's tiring and sickening. I can't do everything by myself. But even if you have 55 people working for you, you still have to monitor them. They are crazy, mother. Let me tell you what happened tomorrow. I, I already predict those. Is it? Tony Lawani wears rags to African fashion wear. Who's the regular person that wears that they will not say anything? I'm the only one that can wear that I will get away with it. One my shake for full yeah. When they finish with you like this, they'll take you like this. <laughs> Where are you there now? I was trying to get ready for African Fashion Week. I'm uh, looking like a mad woman. Um, my friend Tutu, she brought her kids to walk my runway, Sean and the twins. And she's trying out my shredded agbada that I plan to wear to Nigeria Next Top Designer and African Fashion Week to support my students. And she's like, oh, I want to wear this. I'm like, no, nobody can swag this like me. They will just tear you like, ah, what's this rag? Nobody can swag it like me, trust me. That's why I don't let some people wear my clothes. Ciara. Ciara. She wore the Iran Bubana. Why didn't you give her the Danshiki? I've not made the Danshiki then. She wore the Iran Bubana, she loved it. I did not even know if I was going to have a show. I started designing my collection like a week before because we kept waiting for fabrics that were supposed to come from. China and they never came and the fabric came the day of the show. Imagine if I was waiting for the fabric. So I have to quickly cut things, put together, my tailors are working, still have to choreograph, still have to attend to clients. Oh, right now I don't even know where my scarf is, my hair is like a mad woman and I didn't even care. I just had my elbow glow on, like whatever happens. So if this elbow glow is on, I won't look tired. Whatever happens, makeup will help me. Let's go. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. Then, nice. Then do like you're going. Then pull off. Don't throw it away. Why don't you remove it? Hold it like this and drag it on the floor and go. Yeah, like that. And go. See, I'm... I'm your Right. Did I just do that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I just said, you, you know what? The girl, the model, she's from uh, Ethiopia. 
What's her name again? I forgot her name. She walked with Kabi Selegu, she's daughter on stage. Um, the girl has this shape. You know, the, a lot of people actually do surgery for this. They have holes in there. And I think I've always loved this. So she has a, I decided to make a jump for her. And I think I was just messing around. And I was like, I said what I said. I didn't mean it anyway, but I can't say what I said again. Don't take what I said. That I said you will Oh, have I? Don't put it there, please. So I got finished that cloth. What have I on? You finished? Some models, everybody has models, everything. It's only. Where's the fair? Her clothes still looks like a rag. I have to help her. So I was still trying to help them finish their clothes. Some of them didn't even know what to do. Some of them didn't even go for real well. Nothing. Mm. But I still made sure I did it for them. See the way I help you people. Did I help any of you? Yes, because you did not show me anything to help you with. Did I even see your outfit? Ask me that question. <laughs> so I should leave my career and choose between my career and my <laughs> student's career after I paid 250,000 naira for them to go and showcase at this place. Why can't they stick to instructions? You mean the student? Yeah. I have to do African Fashion Week, Nigeria. I have to close the show. My students are showcasing on the same day too that I'm trying to choreograph my show, finish my clothes, and do Nigeria Next Top Designer auditions again and take the contestants and put them into the house. What? And I've not slept for two weeks. And I'm trying to think about it. I've not finished my pieces. Do I really need to go to African Fashion Week to support my students when I've actually helped them finish their pieces and they have to go on the runway? I already warned them about Mr. Chola. I've worked with Mr. Chola backstage in London, America, everywhere. He's a perfectionist. He's very, very strict. He's not, he doesn't take rubbish from anybody. I even had to learn and grow before I got here. If they tell you guys come for Riazas, go for Riazas. Don't say because I know them or I'm a partner on the show, then you guys will just start messing up. I paid for that slot. Now, half of them are not even on the runway, half of them are outside. And I'm trying to finish up my own pieces and I'm trying to help my students. So I have to go and help my students. I don't have a choice. I have to leave everything I was doing for my show to go support them. Imagine on getting to African Fashion Week, I can already see Ife and her mother, one of my students, my youngest student actually, she's 16, yeah, going on 17. I saw her outside crying, sitting on the stairs, like, oh, Auntie, they didn't let me in. They said, I'm not going to showcase. I'm like, oh my God, what's Auntie Ronke? Let me go and beg. And they were about going on the stage. Let's go and beg them. I saw Auntie Ronke, like, it doesn't have anything to do with me. It's Mr. Shola, he's the producer of the show. So I have to go and look for Mr. Shola and beg Mr. Shola. Mommy Ife. Imagine, they said as it's lost all the tickets. That's what she said. Let me go in and get you in. And African Fashion Week gave me free tickets to Nigerian Next Top Designer so all my fans can get in and watch me <sighs> on the show and choose the winner. No tickets. Everybody's calling. Left the Empire, people kept calling to pick up the tickets. Next thing, as he said, he lost all the tickets in the cab. Then we had to leave the gate open at a hotel so everybody should get in. Oh, he told them to come No, they didn't. And some of them even came, they didn't have any models for them. He even sent as Is that three of them? We haven't fitted them. There's so much we have to do. They should have come for fitting. You know it. They're not at that level that they cannot come No, I know. But you know what? You see, she will not see anything. You know she will not say anything. Let's even give them ready on time. They can, they can, they can. Where are they? 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 Where are your models? Let me see them. Let me see. Now they just show all the clothes. Try and get that on. Why don't you don't get that on? Why don't you don't come out? No, no. Auntie, this is Samantha. That's Samantha. Yeah. You see, I ran here just to make it for you. Yeah. Where's your clothes? Where's my clothes, my mothers are wearing them already. Oh yeah, come, 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 come. come. You know we love you. Don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go inside? So you be... Okay, where's the female? You people are killing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
I was really proud seeing my students on that runway and their pieces. So I'm happy everybody showcasing. I couldn't find Ife and Kumbi. They had to go quickly get their models to join the show after I used my, you know, my package to Lolox Mr. Shola. Like, Mr. Shola, please now, please. As I was doing like this, it was feeling me too. So I said, okay, let them go on the runway. So we're happy. So get everybody on the runway was one thing that I was really proud of that day. And the fact that they saw me there for the support. And when it was all over, I ran on stage with them. Then when everybody saw me on the stage, they were like, <laughs> wait for it. I think I should come up with you guys. Yes, yes, yes. Excuse me, please, you guys. You sit with your two models. Now what you do is, when one model goes out, you go out with the second. My male. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Kumbi, where is your female? He's my female. Put, him, put them together now. Hey. Come, 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 come. Can you stay? Go last, go last. Just go last. Come be relaxed. Come be relaxed. Go last. Don't worry. It's okay. If I was not back with these children, I don't know what would have happened. A few of them were so scattered. I'm like, oh, hello. The father of God is here. You will showcase. Let's go inside. Hey, hey. Come, come. When you get to the front, put this on your head, the back. Put it on your head, the back. The hoodie. Okay? Go. Then you drop it. We're supposed to go with our model. Like, oh. See, I mean, like, the cloth is really nice, but you need to show the world that you can swag it different. And you drop it when you get to the front. The girl didn't drop the back. I felt like going on stage and slapping her through the TV. Dayo, Dayo's model just won't wait. Where is Ivan fine? How's your small kids? Oh, he's fine. Oh, you remember Diego, he's Why fine. would I remember? He looks like my son, two of them. Oh, you Some should them. Have... Let him work for you one day. No, I still need him more. We need more models. <laughs> I need to see my models for tomorrow. My students and are making me meltdown. I bumped into this lady designer, Agatha Moreno, and she has this cute son, and I was really looking for the style how I used to ask her to borrow me that boy. And I thought, yeah, why not? I'm a designer as well. I'm like, what the inspiration is mother and son, or daddy and son, or daughter and mom. It's like, I can do it for you now. I'm showcasing before you. So I'll just go and quickly. I'm like, really? You're a designer? You're going to showcase for me? She's like, yeah, why not? Um, so you would have worked with your son? There you know, but I know you're a designer as well. Oh, no, I can still do it for you, no problem. But what time are you doing it tomorrow? My face, give me to you. What time are you doing it tomorrow? Is that the gala night? You yeah, should be there I'm now. Yeah, I'm tomorrow as well. How will I get him now? He's gonna be here with me tomorrow. What time? Um, I'm sure he's a professional now. With mm -hmm. his mother, he has. And I, yeah. So how will I do it? Now? Okay, so let I don't me have find your out. number. No, put your number there. If we are designers in Nigeria, support each other like this. We would go for, you know, after the show, she still told me some people were like, why did you work for Tiana? Come on, you're a designer. She said, so if I'm a designer, I should not support my fellow designer. Come on. I love that woman. No, please, we all need to do this. We need to support each other. Okay, let's go. I need all my students. Oh, Everybody, run, come, 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 run. Let's go. Oh, yeah, come, 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 run, 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 run. Come. Train in front, train in oh, front. Okay, train in front. So we, we all hold hands together. Come, come, come. These are the future! Are you guys, let's go. I don't even know where that speech came from. I just did it. Say, these are the future! I just felt like my grandpa. Mandela, the power just came. Like, yeah. I was really proud of their pieces, though. And that moment, like, okay. I believe, like, leaders, they create more leaders. They don't create followers. So I got them prepared for this day so they can stand on their own. So I got to let it go. Okay, so can I go and do my own future now? Yes. I've helped people. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Let's go. Ivan, I'm very proud of you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. I am so proud of you guys. This one wants to restart the whole game. Look at that Eva just squeezed me. Did that boy just squeeze me? Eva just did this. Actually, my fashion illustrator and is one of the uh, um, artists I signed to my record label. Okay, so. Meet me at the Empire, I'm going. Okay, okay, bye. So my students just showcased um, about 15 of them. And I'm so proud of my students. 
when I saw their pieces on that runway, I'm like, oh my god, I've done something good. Fashion is all about creativity, creating something out of nothing. And I can see that few Nigerians are starting to see that, that to stand out, we have to be different. And because I'm different, I'm the outcast. Let's talk about what's in front of me. Okay. How do we describe this? Wow, this is my new collection. It's called the, the Denim Collection. I'm sure you saw Ciara wearing the same thing, the Iran mm -hmm. to the school when she came to Nigeria. It, it was an idea I came up with like um, three months ago. And I'm like, you know what? I've never seen anybody do Agbada in denim. I mean, you're representing <laughs> your brand well. I, I know, right? This is very fashion forward. <laughs> you know, as always, I like, okay. I like being different. I love standing out. I'm always envious of you. Duh. You outshine me. I just, I'm just in your, I'm just in your You're shadow. You're lying. I'm just in your You're shadow. You're lying. I love that collection. The guy has so much swagger. We've been doing African Fashion Week Nigeria for like decades together. And he's telling me I have swag. Only you. You are too slow. What is your problem? Kai, see your mommy. Your mommy is outside there sitting down. She's upset. What's your problem? Follow me. I started looking for you. Kai. I don't get that girl. I don't get. She's so slow. I know she's young. She's 16. She's the youngest of my students. I saw her outside. She was crying. I said, follow me. Even the other ones, like Kubi and Daya, I went to beg for. They got on the stage. It was time for her to go on stage after Mr. Shola agreed for them to showcase. I couldn't find her anymore. She was the only one that didn't showcase at Africa Fashion Week. So I didn't even have a choice. I have to tell, okay, where are your models? Come, let's go outside. Let's just go and take picture. I'm like, what happened to you? Oh, jeez. I was so disappointed when her pieces came out really nice. It was really, they were horrible at first, but come on, when we got it together, it really, really looked nice. This is the only student that didn't go on the wrong, so I'm trying to help her. Can we take a picture, all of you? Can we go outside and take a picture? Huh? Oh my God, I forgot! You're wearing my design. I see you. Shot was in front. Why did I say you come here? Say yeah. <laughs> and this is very crazy. And this is my social media analyst. But it just shows up and scatter everywhere. He said I showcase. Where? As this, as this, as this, as this. Then Ivan. Where am I in the picture, anyways? The next day, before I knew there was like a massive crowd. I thought I was just taking pictures with my student, like, let's move to this side. I just saw crowds. <laughs> I'm like, am I that much of a celebrity? I didn't realize. I'm sorry. I'm a celeb. <laughs> it's crazy, though. Like, I can't even be myself anymore. I can't even eat my bully and my like, on the street. Really? I just thought I'm a celebrity. I'm just me. I'm basically toying, Lawani. I just want to be me. We will pose. OK, we will pose. Look at that paparazzi, only for my denim agbada. And you're telling me that I don't set trends. Are you kidding me? Like, I'm already on E before I even, even left the show. And I'm already talking about the shredded agbada, talking about Ciara's Iran Mubai shreds, TMZ, BBC. And you say you don't know me, I hey, joker. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Don't change your routine. Do what you guys have been practicing. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nah. Jesus, did you see this makeup on my face? It was as if they wiped my forehead at the show. And I came with this makeup. And the makeup is just from ear to ear. And I can cut people out. Jesus, wow. For you to do like that. My head is paining me, oh. Why would your head pain you? Jumping from shows to show. Jumping as if you are a vulture. Two weeks, no sleep. Your head will not pain you. Now, I have only this night to get my own show ready after pleasing Nigerian Next Top Designer. You know, it's supposed to be like this. Just tape them out, tape them out. Let's go with this one. This is fuller than this one. And I want the same patterns on them, but the front is okay. Tiptoe. 
I was very shocked when Kabi Telegushi released his kids to me like, I'm, are you serious? I have royalty working on my soul. Kabi Telegushi's kids, three of them. And Tenny is so passionate about it. Like, she's so like a pro. I'm like, you're kidding? I'm done with Tenny. Let's not be sad here. She's the only one left. We see about African fashion with Nigeria. A lot of pieces I wanted on the wrong way could definitely not make it on the wrong way. Most of them, when they tried it on, it was really horrible, especially in the last Transformer. The vision I had for it with the fat child, she was supposed to walk the wrong way. Everything just, really she tried it on, it was folding, it was really horrible. And I'm like, okay, fine. I have to design this overnight, another black one instead of this color for, you know, like, how oh, am I going to survive? And the show is just literally five hours away. Help me. <laughs> like, duh, like seriously. But I know that African fashion will a lot of pressure for you. But so Nigeria's so next top designer is Paramount. Yeah. They are forgetting. I'll tell you something they did. I'm very irritated about it. I'm like, what the f I'm checking the Nigerian next top designer flyers. The ticket. The ticket. They put African fashion week on top of it. Then I put Yemi Alade's picture on top of it and said, Nigeria's next top designer grand finale. I'm not like, okay. Where is the fashionista? No, no, no. Where is the face of Nigeria's next top designer? Where is the edge of the Nigeria next top designer? She's not African Fashion Week face. Yes. So they now put her own face on the ticket for my fans and put African Fashion Week and put my own Nigerian uh, <laughs> next top designer grand finale on that. I'm telling you, it's wrong. She gives it to because. If you tell her, and if I tell her, she will, she will finish them. She will para for them. She will para for them. Who does that? Let's be honest. I'm the brand ambassador for Nigeria Next Top Designer and the face of the brand. I'm the edge of the brand. Now I actually practically own the show because I'm partnering with Antu Ronke now. She has left everything to me. And next thing, I'm supposed to be giving my fans free ticket to Nigeria Next Top Designer. And I'm seeing Yemen had this face on my ticket. Like, what the f just happened? Who's the face? So she's the face of African Fashion Week. I'm the face of Nigerian Next Top Designer. And it's the same brand, and I guess they made a mistake and put her own face on it. And I'm supposed to be giving those tickets to my fans. I'm like, hey, you better leave that door open. I'm not handing somebody else's face to my. Yes, she's my friend, but this is business. You don't make that kind of mistakes. I'm a brand. She's a brand. Duh, don't mix it. It's an idea. Yeah. Uh, I'll find out. Don't worry. If I tell you to, will you be surprised? So what I wanted was for uh, the male to be able to, everybody to be able to take off their outfits. It's a transformer collection and everything is detachable. So I want the crowd to be like, wow. And I didn't even plan to cut the Agbada, but I really wanted it off. So I was planning to do for Mr. Nigeria, Emmanuel could be saying. Um, and everybody's trying to find out, what's your plan? What are you trying to do? Everybody, I leave them in a box, even people that work with me. I want them to see. I don't like talking too much. One, two, three, go. Nice. Nice. One, two, three, go. Okay, what? Let go, let go, let go. Let, hey, hey. Wait for me. Like me. Mm -hmm. What do you think is your? <laughs> All those girls are chasing you more. Wait, 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 as usual, I always have to be involved with my own creativity. Everybody's telling me you work too hard, you need to get a creative director for your company. I'm like, <laughs> creative director? <laughs> Excuse me, even if I get as big as Gucci, all my ideas will still come from me. Yeah, maybe then I'll just be sleeping you know, in my house on my waterbed or in my jacuzzi or my private jet and I can do a conference call and I can tell my people, yo, more Look at this design, I just did it. I'm on my private jet, I'm going to relax on an island, I'll be back in a week. I need you guys to make me a million dollars. If you don't make it, don't let me see you guys. When you make a million dollars, take 10%. I'll just be resting. I can't do anything I like when it gets that time. But for now, I'm all about my brand. I don't need people to do things for me. Anytime I leave anybody to do anything for me, they disappoint me. 
So if you want something done, do it yourself. Why did I let dress that was supposed to be my mind? Um, Kumbi, grab Dele for me and somebody else. Tell them to get that rack, the big rack, to this side. Tell him that auntie said that you should help them move it now. Um, I was sketching some of the remaining looks that were yet to do for Yabo, Joe, and her daughter, but I'm still thinking if we don't finish the dress, I have to pull something from the shop floor to style Yabo and her daughter, and two models still don't have clothes, and the kids are crying. I see I need to be in your show, and then, because they see my show yearly and they know that I kill it. So, let's see, we have four hours to go to the main show to shoot NNTD in the morning. <laughs> Imagine when everybody was gone, that's when I now had time to practice my own way. Wow. <laughs> At this point in time, <laughs> I woke up by 6.30. I slept for, I think, two hours, 30 minutes. Woke up again, my brain, I didn't, I, my brain was like frozen. I didn't even know where to think. And I said, okay, let me just wake up, finish the work, finish. And next thing I'm getting outside, I'm seeing like 20 kids already. Good morning. Good morning, darlings. I like what you guys are wearing. Oh, la la. It's like they didn't sleep. Their family brought them early. You hey guys, let's dance. So this one, you do like. Oh yeah, let's go. If you don't dance, you're not going on, on my wrong way today. Better start dancing on the dance now to dance now. Oh yeah, let's go. Yeah, it's blackmailing the children to dance for me. <laughs> she do it, my I that. So it's really crazy. Everything is upside down. I'm like running mad right now, but. One thing I do best is I work best under pressure. I love pressure. That's a perfectionist right there. That's a good leader right there. Anybody that can work under so much pressure and still get things done, that person's the boss.